Welcome to FRC Recap, where you get the breakdown and discussion of what's going on in the FRC community. Reporting for First Updates Now, I'm Tyler Olds. And I'm Audrey. Our guest tonight has given Canadian teams 2056 reasons to watch their six in the six. He's a former mentor of 1114 Symbotics and curator of the most impressive win streak in all of first history. Putting the OP in OP Robotics since the beginning, it's Tyler Holtzman. To okay. be fair, OP stands for Orchard Park. Just Does not it? anymore. It's been true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so lots to cover in this show. Let's jump right into our headlines. Um, our first story is actually breaking here publicly uh, on fun and following up from last week in our discussion with Annie Mark. Uh, so Annie Mark will be launching a robot relief GoFundMe page with the goal of raising $50,000 to provide grants to teams for their robots. Eddie Mark states that on the page that, quote, we will give out 100 plus grants between $500 and $1,000 in the form of a gift certificate to AnnieMark.com. This is the uh, first planned round, uh, or the first planned round is for FTC teams. However, Annie Mark did inform us that, quote, if all goes well, we are thinking of, uh, we'll continue it for FRC next. Uh, so this is a great way to help teams and also help out Annie Mark, who has publicly stated their struggles during COVID-19 outbreak and uh, the impact to their business in the future, which, uh, of course, is greatly in question for all suppliers right now. So if you're interested in helping support uh, Annie Mark and helping support teams, Go check it out. The details on how to apply and for how uh, each uh, each team will uh, get their funding is still being finalized. But we will report this as they become available. You'll see the link in chat and we'll post this as well, too. Uh, but uh, make sure you go check out the uh, GoFundMe. Uh, Andy Mark will be posting more about it on their socials and we probably will well as well to here on fun. Right. So this past Thursday, First News and Stories sent out an email blast that featured a new training on equity and diversity for coaches, mentors, volunteers, and other key stakeholders. The training is comprised of three 20-minute parts and was the result of a collaboration with the National Alliance for Partnerships in Equity. This joins first handful of other optional trainings for, among other things, voice, mental ability, and unbiased recruitment strategy. As they say in the introduction to the training, First knows that culture shapes our biases and beliefs about people based on their age, gender, race, language, ability, or income level, often without our realization. These resources and trainings will equip us for the work. The course is free and accessible to anyone and live in the resource library now. I did take a look at it and it seems pretty good resource for your students and your mentors who want to look into that. Tyler? So Lego Mindstorms has a new kit to be released, the first release in seven years. Um, this kit's named the Lego Mindstorms Robot Inventor 515151. This is uh, new elements of the kit, including an IntelliHub featuring six input-output ports and the Lego Technic and Systems elements. Includes a 5x5 five five LED matrix. Sick LEDs. <laughs> a six axis gyro holy smokes they can do a lot of stuff with these lego robots new frames color sensors distance sensors originally slated for an august release this is delayed to later in 2020 um due to covid19 production disruptions uh but it almost certainly means that fl teams will not will not be able to utilize it in the 2021 2022 season but a lot of cool stuff there just want to follow up on that. We did get a message from uh, Travis2723 uh, who says that the uh, uh, this is actually a retail version of what's called the Spike Prime uh, that was supposed to be legal for FLL last season. So actually, really, it's going to be delayed two seasons overall. Uh, so I'm sure uh, I'm sure FLL at some point is looking for uh, to get something new uh, going on. But uh, hold on to that. Not yet. Uh, apparently, that's not happening uh, as of uh, this time. So. <laughs> Your last control system release was uh, 2013, so seven years ago. Yeah, so crazy. All right, so uh, Hot on Cheap Delphi is a thread discussing popular songs in first that are currently loud that may contain potentially racist or offensive undertones. Uh, songs like this that have been mentioned include Cotton Eye Joe by Rednecks and Apache by Sugar Hill Gain. Uh, funny, we'll talk about uh, a little bit later that in the uh, uh, actual first playlist, they don't call it Apache, which is quite interesting. But uh, other songs uh, that are currently banned, 
uh, are being pulled into question as for why they are banned. Uh, songs that are mentioned like Bruno Mars' 24K Magic, Taylor Swift's We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, I know that's Holtzman's favorite song, are currently banned uh, for some explicit <laughs> uh, language and sexual undertones. Uh, so first is yet to comment on this. I'm a little bit surprised. We've had this has been out for a few days now, and there's been some uh, a lot of chat. And then first tends to watch CD, so I'm a little surprised not to see comments yet from first in this. But hopefully something soon, especially with their uh, release of uh, equity, diversity, and inclusion kits. Uh, we'll dive a bit deeper into the top 20 songs in our discussion segment a little bit later on. Just like to shout out Red Leader again for gifting those subs. Thank you so much. Holy cow. Uh, yeah <laughs> thank you by the way yeah if you're watching live by the way we love to have your support thank you so much to those who are uh, providing subscriptions tips and bits thank you so much okay also with the news and stories email on thursday came the long-awaited announcement of what the untitled food network show was filming at the la north regional this season first will be featured on the show duff takes the cake where celebrity <laughs> cake maker duff goldman will bring a star wars droid cake to life Sounds pretty interesting. I'm a longtime fan of both desserts and robots, so I think that this development is just the icing on the cake in terms of bringing new audiences to FRC. And Andrew, you're talking about before about the uh, this Millennium Falcon one from a long time ago, so definitely they got yeah. some experience in making this. <laughs> this is my childhood here. I love this Millennium Falcon cake. <laughs> well, that's way too nice a cake. How could cut that apart and eat that? Yeah, I know, but apparently they do. So the, uh, have you guys seen this KF console? Most ridiculous thing I have seen in a long, long time. <laughs> um, so many gamers and first are excited for the next gen console releases. You know, a new Xbox uh, X series, a uh, new PS5. Well, KFC came out with this 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 spoof for the the, the KF console, the, the finger licking good features such as the the chicken chamber, cross platform compatibility, true 4K 120 FPS. Come on, this is uh, this is a spicy console, slated to power your hunger with an apparent release date of 11 12 20. Not sure what the significance of the 11 12 20 is. No clue. No. <laughs> anyways yeah. absolutely ridiculous you're gonna buy one tyler oh hell no i can only eat kfc <laughs> maybe once a year and uh well you know what i haven't had kfc in a while maybe i will we'll see we'll see <laughs> what about you audrey uh any interest in getting this i mean it does have that uh you know the built-in uh chicken chamber i mean if it runs breath of the wild sure but other than that <laughs> it's more breath of the chicken really but so Awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely. I, I love, you know, what I've seen as somebody who is a social marketer myself. It's so cool to see just like these gimmicks come up. Uh, I don't know, maybe they will make something, but they did come out uh, a while ago with like a dating simulator, like a KFC dating simulator that uh, took off on Steam and had very positive reviews. So who knows what's going to happen as it goes through. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.